green region, land of St. Francis, heart of Italy, are just some of the adjectives often used to describe Umbria, the only region in central Italy that is not washed by the sea. Green it certainly is, and of the heart it has not only the location, it is made of places that give unique emotions such as the Piana Grande on the Sibyllini Mountains, a plateau that in spring with its flowers creates a show without equal or Assisi, which with the Basilica of St. Francis or the Porziuncola is good for the heart and soul. Hello everyone and welcome again to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss about one of the most beautiful places in Umbria you cannot miss. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon. A small region that brings great emotions to life. We invite you to set out to discover this beautiful piece of Italy to fully appreciate its landscapes and rich artistic and cultural heritage. From Perugia to Gubbio, Passing by the Marmor Falls, we offer you an itinerary through 10 of the most important places to see in Umbria, a great little region. Assisi. Located on the slopes of Mount Subasio, Assisi is a small medieval town where time seems to stand still, a landmark for the Christian faith, a city steeped in spirituality and a symbol of peace. It is one of the most visited places in Umbria, as well as a favorite destination for many pilgrims, linked to the history of St. Francis and St. Clair who lived and worked here. It is almost a must to start the tour of Assisi from the Basilica of St. Francis. It was built in 1230 and was commissioned by Pope Gregory IX to house the remains of the saint. Seen from afar, it looks like a single stronghold, but is actually composed of two overlapping churches, the lower basilica, the upper basilica with Giotto's famous frescoes, and the crypt with the saint's tomb. After visiting the Basilica Walk along Via San Francesco and reach the Piazza del Comune, around which stand the Temple of Minerva, dating back to the 1st century BC, the Torre del Popolo and the Palazzo dei Priori, the seat of the city hall. Perugia Etruscan, Roman, medieval, Renaissance city, university seat among the oldest and most prestigious in Italy and the world. It is a place of a thousand faces, all fascinating and steeped in history. A must for those visiting the region, Perugia holds works of art and monumental treasures that testify to its rich past. Begin your visit to Umbria's capital from the main square, Piazza 4 Novembre, at the center of which stands the Fontana Maggiore, one of the finest examples of medieval Italian sculpture and a symbol of the city. On the north side of the square are the Cathedral of San Lorenzo, and the splendid Gothic-style Palazzo dei Priori, home to the National Gallery of Umbria. The Rocca Paulina is another must-see. Built in the 16th century at the behest of Pope Paul III Farnese, it is a true underground city that will fully immerse you in the atmosphere of medieval Perugia. Finally, don't miss the Pozzo Etrusco, one of the city's main public water reservoirs during Etruscan and Roman times which can be visited thanks to a system of stairs, and for those with a sweet tooth, the Perugina Historical Museum and the Casa del Cioccolato, where you can enjoy delicious cocoa delicacies, including the legendary Bacci Perugina. Spoleto nestled on Colle Sant'Elia, this lively town dominates the Spoletina Valley. Roman, Lombard, medieval Spoleto. Like Perugia, it boasts a very rich artistic and cultural heritage, evidence of the different historical eras that saw it as a protagonist. Start your itinerary from the majestic Rocca Albornociana, symbol of the city. This imposing and elegant fortress was erected in 1359 as a papal residence, later used as a prison. It features a rectangular shape and six imposing towers and can be visited inside. From the walkways along the walls you can enjoy an incredible 360-degree view of the entire city. Another must-see is the Duomo, another symbol of the city of Spoleto, the Cathedral of Santa Maria Assunta, built in the 12th century as a true masterpiece of Romanesque architecture. Especially noteworthy are the rose window and mosaics on the facade, and inside, the apse covered by Filippo Lippi's splendid frescoes. From the Roman period, on the other hand, are the ancient aqueduct, better known as the Ponte del Torri, a majestic structure with nine arches that connects Santalia Hill to Montelucco 
and the theater of ancient Spoletium, dating back to the first century, which could accommodate about 2,000 spectators. Since 1958, every summer Spoleto has been transformed into the setting and the stage for the Festival of the Two Worlds, where artists from all over the world perform concerts, dances, and shows. Established by composer Giancarlo Minotti, it is a true tribute to art that embraces it in all its forms. Gubbio. It is also known as the Grey City because of the uniform, compact grey color of the limestone from which it was built. We are talking about Gubbio. Located on the slopes of Mount Ingino in the northeastern part of the region, it is one of the oldest Umbrian towns. It reached its greatest splendor during the age of the Senores, and over the centuries has jealously preserved its medieval appearance both in the physiognomy of the buildings and in the structure of the streets. The town consists of five parallel streets located on different levels and connected by alleys, stairs, and steps. The first thing to see in Gubbio is the Duomo or Cathedral dedicated to Saints Marion and James. An elegant Gothic building accessed through a portal surmounted by a huge circular stained glass window and whose interior consists of a single nave with several chapels on either side. After visiting the cathedral, go to Piazza Grande, the most beloved place for Yugubinians and tourists alike, one of the most scenic urban constructions of the Middle Ages. From this striking hanging square, you can enjoy a splendid view of the valley. On the square stands the Praetorian Palace, which, with its big bell, has marked the hours of the village for centuries, and the Palazzo dei Consoli, home to the Municipal Museum. Here, history lovers cannot help but admire the Yugubin tablets, seven bronze tablets found in the 15th century, written in the Umbrian language and considered the most important ritual text of all classical antiquity. Todi known as the ideal city to live in, Todi sits atop a hill and dominates the Tiber Valley. An elegant medieval town, it is circumscribed by no less than three circles of walls, Etruscan, Roman, and medieval. Among the things to see in Todi is definitely Piazza del Popolo, the beating heart of the city, overlooked by the most important historical buildings, the Palazzo del Popolo, one of the oldest municipal buildings in Italy, the Palazzo del Capitano, which, together with the Palazzo del Popolo, houses the town hall and the civic museum, and the Palazzo dei Priori, seat of the magistrate's court, in which it is possible to see the halls of hearings, with frescoes from the 14th century. Also worth visiting is the cathedral, Cathedral of the Annunziata, in Romanesque Lombard style, built in the 12th century on the remains of a temple dedicated to the god Apollo and featuring a monumental staircase. For a bird's eye view of not only the city, but also the surrounding valley, gather your breath and climb the 153 steps of the San Fortunato Bell Tower. From the Bell Tower, you can even catch a glimpse of Perugia, or climb the hill and reach the Rocca di Todi. At more than 400 meters high, you can admire a beautiful panorama and walk in the surrounding park. If you don't like heights, you can opt for an underground experience, a route of over 5 kmu that winds below the city of Todi among cisterns, tunnels, and galleries. So guys, that's all for today's video. What about these wonderful places in Umbria? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with more of your friends. Like, and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out any of our latest updates.